What's up guys, Jake here with J. Scott Herps, not to be confused with Herpes, Herpes is Nasty, and welcome back to another Reptile Collection video. This is going to be for January 2015. I know you guys have been uh, waiting very patiently for this video, and I'm really excited to bring it to you guys. And uh, So let's just get started here. Uh, right here, as you can see, uh, a lot of changes going on here. Um, you can see my Boa Reggie. He's in a very new enclosure. This is a 4x2 Boa Master enclosure. I really like it. It's a really sharp cage, and I really like the Boa Master label on there. No, I am not being paid by them to talk about them, but I do enjoy the enclosure quite a bit. And as you can see, Reggie, he's uh, doing pretty well. He's looking out at you guys, and he's just chilling under the newspaper substrate right here. The cage right now is pretty bare bones, to be perfectly honest. It's, um, well, uh, not many of the stuff from his uh, past enclosure actually fit in it, so I figured... Uh, this is fine for now until we can get some new stuff for him. And as you guys can see, he's doing really well, looking pretty nice. Very curiously checking out this camera here. And uh, he's a really big snake, as you can see. He definitely looks a lot bigger in this uh, Bowmaster cage than he did uh, previously in his, uh, in his little glass aquarium. But yeah, there's Reggie. Down here is my Irian Gyra carpet python. She's doing pretty well also. And... Uh, yeah, nothing too much different about her. She's still doing uh, fairly well, like I said. Really nice snake. Still a very, very friendly snake. She's just chilling in her water bowl right here, as you can see. She's got a little bit of stuck shed on her from her previous shed, but as you can see, she's uh, also a pretty big snake. Probably my second biggest snake. She might be a little bit longer than Reggie in length, but uh, probably not in girth, not nearly as much in girth. But as you can see, she's a uh, very pretty snake, very nice carpet python. Definitely one of my favorites that I have in my collection. Over here in this 20 gallon long tank we have my Axolotl. You guys will recognize this guy if you guys are a long term subscriber. He's doing very well also. Not too much has changed with him either. Pretty much the same enclosure, a little bit more bare bones because I did just clean it and he's off in the corner there so I'll show you him nice and close up for you guys. And as you can see he's chilling back here by this plant in this bubbler. Uh, he's not too happy with me right now, I just cleaned the water, so he might be a little bit shell-shocked from uh, the temperature change, but other than that, nothing too different with him. As you can see, he's showing his, uh, his hemipenes off, he's, uh, he's a big boy, as you can see, and uh, he's, doing, he's doing pretty well. In this tank here, we have the Firebelly Toads, there are two of them, and to be honest, there's really nothing uh, different with these guys, they're pretty much uh, more or less the same. Nothing too spectacular here. Uh, we have there one firebelly toad right there. There's the bright green one who eats quite a bit, as you can see, a very chunky animal. And the other one is uh, it's hiding somewhere. But uh, yeah, pretty cool firebelly toads. Down here we have Eleanor, my Argentine black and white tegu. She's still a very little girl. As you can see, she is shedding though. She's got some stuck shed on her tail and on her feet. I'm probably gonna have to give her a bath sometime soon, but she's doing very well. Her enclosure is a little bit pimped out. As you can see, she's sitting on a concrete block that she likes to bask on, and that's held up by two bricks, so it obviously doesn't fall on her. But that gives her a lot of space to hide. That's her new favorite hide. She crawls under there sometimes. She also has a PVC tube over here, and uh, that hide I found when I was dumpster diving over there. And then now the light flipped off. Wow, that's a uh, Power Sun UVB heat bulb, which for whatever reason has a mind of its own, decided it didn't want to be on right now, which is kind of annoying. But uh, yeah, there's Eleanor. She's doing pretty well, honestly. She still eats a lot and she's uh, very active. She just hasn't really grown a whole lot, but you know, she's still uh, doing very well and I'm definitely really happy with her. Starting at the top here, we have our yellow anacondas. You guys reckon these guys uh, recognize these guys from college. I have these guys there and I brought them back because I am on break and uh, they obviously need to be fed and look after they can't be by themselves for too long a period of time I don't want to I don't want any fights going on I don't want to you know we got to keep it clean here and as you can see their enclosure is pretty much the same it's uh the same weird slidey glassy enclosure I really don't know the brand of this I just got it from somebody and I really like it uh, but I don't really know much about it probably used to harbor cocaine and I'm assuming both of these guys are in their humid hide because one of them uh, was in shed as you can see here, we have one of my yellow anacondas, super deep in shed, as you can see, really, really blue, cloudy eyes, and uh, just a really cool looking snake. This is one of those snakes that, even in shed, looks really fantastic. Just a really sort of ghosty look to it, and uh, blue eyes, which are one of my favorite colors. And uh, just a really awesome anaconda. The other one is actually in the enclosure, and I'll pull him out for you here in a second. Here's the other yellow anaconda. I'm not actually going to touch this guy because as you can see he's very fired up right now and uh, he he definitely enjoys biting like a lot of yellow anacondas do. 
But uh, yeah, just a really, really cool snake. Another one of my favorites, as you can see. Just a beautiful animal. And these guys are going to be super impressive when they're adults. And uh, they'll be really, really quite a handful to work with. But uh, definitely something I'm looking forward to. Right here we have Ralph, my going eye king snake, high red, really nice red colors, uh, what I really like about him. And I, he was also in my college dorm room, but like I said, these guys need to come back and be fed and they just need attention. Snakes, they need their attention, you know? Uh, they love to be handled, uh, especially this guy. And uh, as you can see, he's in the same 20 gallon enclosure. Pretty nice little enclosure for him though. He seems to enjoy it and, uh, whoa, hey there bud, what are you doing? Bruh. But uh, yeah, he's, he's doing pretty well. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll just move on. Right here we have SpongeBob who has made residence in the reptile room. As you can see, he is a Trimper Albino Leopard Gecko and he's doing very well. Uh, he doesn't live in a pineapple under the sea, but he does live on the bottom of this rack here. And uh, he's doing pretty well as a cricket is uh, chirping while I'm talking, which is very rude. But uh, he's doing pretty well. He's a little thin, but we're trying to fatten him up. As you can see, he's got uh, pretty much everything he needs here. He's got his uh, mealworm calcium dish. He's got lots of hides. He's got this hide he seems to use as an outhouse. Uh, when I cleaned it out the other day, it was filled to the brim with turds. Uh, so that was actually pretty impressive that he actually used that hide as a uh, as an outhouse. And he's a little bit irritated with the lights. So you guys see uh, the new lighting. Feel free to thumbs up for that. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and put him back here. Let him let him go back to resting because uh, obviously leopard geckos are nocturnal. They spend the majority of their time out uh, when it's dark. So if I came back down here at night, he probably would be, he'd probably be out and about. Right here I have my crested gecko. He's still in his exoterra enclosure, which I like. Pretty sharp enclosure. And I just cleaned it out and he's already made uh, quite a mess of it. And he took a dump in his, in his food. Nice. Uh, but uh, he's probably back here hiding. Yeah, he's back here. So I'll show you guys him uh, a little bit more close up. As you can see, a really pretty crested gecko here. I don't know what people who are into crested gecko morphs would call him because Crested gecko morphs to me don't really make any sense, but uh, this is the world's first super hypo magenta bearded dragon flaming unicorn poopsicle. Uh, so if you guys uh, want to message me, if you want to buy him, uh, he's actually not for sale, so don't actually message me to buy him because uh, he's mine. So yeah, uh, but there he is. He's doing pretty well. Uh, he's eating a little bit more crested gecko diet. I actually saw him eating it uh, the other day. I threw a picture of that up on Instagram if you guys want to check that out. Uh, but yeah, he's just doing, he's doing pretty well. Try and get a better view of him here. Yeah, there's the side of his head. He doesn't really doesn't want anything to do with the camera right now. Like I said, the lighting not a bit, and he's not a big fan of it because he is nocturnal as well. Oh, yeah, but there's my crested gecko doing pretty well. Here's Tebow for you guys. This is my American alligator, as you guys probably know. One of the reasons I really got popular on YouTube, so I definitely thank him for that. But he's doing very well. This video makes him look pretty small, makes him look very little, but uh, I. I am not uh, not kidding you guys, he's getting very big, he's quite hefty now, I don't mean to make fun of his weight at all, I don't want him to bite me for making fun of him, but uh, he's definitely gaining a lot in mass, not so much in length, but I'm sure uh, it's sort of just a matter of time until he hits a growth spurt, and he's just a very calm alligator, I cleaned his tank earlier today, and when I go to clean it, he usually uh, pretty calmly walks up onto the land, and just kind of chills there until the water is clean, uh, which it is, it's very clean right now, I cleaned every single drop out well maybe not every single drop but uh, I cleaned the majority of it out and he's doing it very well his enclosure is the same same six by four acrylic tank so you can see with the land basking area and he's just uh he's doing really well guys and uh, hopefully this summer we can get him outside and he will uh, hopefully enjoy some natural sunlight maybe some maybe some cats stray cats uh, perhaps raccoons or mice or you know whatever else is out there uh, small small children you know whatever happens to uh, to go in there so yeah Right here, guys, we have one of the turtle tanks. This is the smaller of the turtles. Here we have Dario, the red-eared slider. And uh, over here we have Franklin, the razorback musk turtle. Very awkward looking turtle, but a uh, really cute little guy with his little pig nose, as you can see, posing for you guys. And uh, Dario just wants part of the action. That's what he does. He lives for the action, as you can see. And uh, they're, they're doing pretty well, as you can see. They're very big. They're getting quite large, definitely outgrowing this enclosure. Here, and uh, now we'll show you some other turtles. All right, guys, I'll give you um, uh, five seconds to guess uh, what kind of uh, tortoise this is. Um, leave it in the comment section down below, and if you get it right, then uh, you're, like, really smart, okay? Um, yeah, so. Uh, this is Maggie. She is a Herman's tortoise. For those of you who guessed sulcata tortoise, you are incorrect. I apologize. 
Uh, and she's doing really well also. She's very big. She's she's a beast. I mean, look at her. She's a little tank right there. I mean, if you look up beast in the dictionary, you'll probably find her, me, and uh, Andrew Luck because uh, we're just beasts. And uh, she's doing very well. Uh, she's quite rambunctious. Everything in this tank is pretty much just flipped over because she's a very active little tortoise. She's always moving around and, and uh, just kind of running around exercising she doesn't want to get she doesn't want to get obese you know she's definitely watching her figure but uh, she's doing very well uh, also and she's just a really cute little tortoise definitely one of the uh, one of the cutest tortoises I've ever seen if I can get her to turn around here for you guys just a just look at that face look at that face on that tortoise just really cute little tortoise and uh, that's Maggie for you guys and now we'll move on to the uh, our other turtle tank and here we have the big turtle tank. We have uh, our four larger turtles in here. We have Dan, who is a painted turtle right there. We have one of our yellow belly cooters right there. Uh, we have another yellow belly cooter over here. We like our cooters. And uh, there is, uh, I like to call him Will Power, and he is a Mississippi map. He's a Mississippi map turtle. I forgot. But yeah, they're all doing pretty well. As you know, all of our turtles have uh, IndyCar driver names, not NASCAR. NASCAR is for, um, well, I'm not going to say because I probably have a lot of NASCAR fans and I don't want to lose all my subscribers. So, yeah, there's, uh, there they are. They're all doing pretty well. Hopefully this summer in the new pond, we get them outside and get them some, uh, get them some sunlight and they probably would enjoy that as well as uh, eating small children like my alligator. Uh, there's something about small children that just makes, uh, makes a good meal, I suppose. And uh, yeah, those are our larger turtles. And right here we have my baby brother, Otter. Now he is a little bit different than uh, every other boy. He has a speech impediment, so please don't make fun of him. Uh, he really he really wants to be treated like everybody else, but um, you know, uh, people people are kind of mean to him. So if you guys could give him some uh, words of encouragement in the comments section down below, I think he would really appreciate that. Right, Otter? Yeah. Here's my Boston Terrier, Beanie, who's uh, a little bit... Uh, a little bit on the uh, on the, the heavier side, um, but he's uh, he's doing pretty well as you can see, and uh, he's just he's a good boy. He loves he loves his frog. He's eating a frog because he loved it, and he's uh, he's doing well. Not too much to say about him other than he's a very fantastic pet, and he loves his frog. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Right in here we have our little baby bunny pumpkin, who's extremely adorable, showing her little face there. Not gonna probably not gonna come out. She doesn't really fit. As you can see, her butt is right there and her head is right there, which is uh, quite comical, but yeah, she's doing pretty well. Very cute little bunny rabbit. Again, another really great pet. For those of you who, who like reptiles but are interested in, you know, more of these cuddly looking animals. Right, Pumpkin? Yeah. And last but not least, here we have Jerry coming at you live from my bathroom where all the magic happens. And uh, as you can see, he's doing very well. He's probably the heaviest he's honestly ever been in his life. You see very thick tail there and he's, he's doing very well. Just my... My little gecko that I that I really enjoy. I've had him for almost 10 years now, so it's been quite a while since I've gotten this guy. And he's really what started my collection. You guys have probably heard this all before. But I just want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the format of this video. I know it's a little bit different, but uh, hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoy. And uh, stay tuned for next month's Reptile Collection. I'm Jake, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.